All right, let's uh, let's keep it moving and give it up for one of the regulars that crushes every Monday, Tadpole Triple. All right. Y'all give it up for Angelo in the Brighton Bar one time. Mike and Sean, I appreciate y'all. It's a tough week. We lost a lot of people this week. You gonna do your dirty material? I don't know. According to Dweck, everything I do is filthy, so. Really? We uh, lost the guy who's responsible for most comedian sets, Larry Kessler. You know, the copy and paste guy? Uh. <laughs> I mean, if we learned anything this week, it's. That brooms do stand up better than half the people in this room. <laughs> we also lost that flat earth rocket guy. Oh yeah. No, she was right? crazy. Now we'll never know. <laughs> Take that, Eddie Bravo. <laughs> London Fashion Week was this week. <laughs> Lena Dunham made her runway debut. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, she came out and everyone was like. <laughs> like a 737 that ever. <laughs> oh, come on, she molested her sister. Take it easy. Oh, shit. <laughs> Stacey Abrams said it'd be her honor to run as someone's VP. I think we can all agree that she should probably walk, right? Like in, in everything that she does. <laughs> You know what I mean? Just in case her heart can't handle all of that extra. And if Wilford Brimley were a black woman. Joaquin Phoenix. You don't know this fella? Joaquin Phoenix. Joaquin. He's a hell of an actor, isn't he? Yeah. The first actor in history who had a toned down there crazy to play Joker. You had to bring, bring it down about like that. For New Year's, Dweck listed his favorite comics and favorite YouTubers. <laughs> I was one of them. I was one of the YouTubers. That is my 2020 really? comedy goal to make the list next year. Dream it. I like it. Tom Zappia is Tom. Y'all give it up for Tom Zappia. <laughs> he looks like if they were going to make a Rocky prequel. <laughs> and they needed a young Pauly. <laughs> Fucking. <laughs> <laughs> right. Just 90 minutes of him berating Adrian. <laughs> Dweck looks like if you watch Scooby-Doo in 16.9. You know, like a widescreen shaggy. <laughs> shaggy with a thyroid concern. <laughs> right, like if Shaggy ate Scooby and Scrappy-Doo. <laughs> if the mystery wagon were a food truck. <laughs> The other day, this little limp dick millennial came at me, tried some shit. He's like, don't fuck with me, yo, I'm connected. Damn. I was like, to what? The internet? Sit the fuck down. Quit being cute. This ain't Fortnite. <laughs> Fucking tough. Any of y'all ever get the hump in a gal? <laughs> That's so far out of your league. You just start reciting every line the far as go. Yeah. Can I just try to hold that nut? Right there's shrimp and potatoes, there's a lemon shrimp, shrimp scampi, shrimp cocktail. No, you can't say cocktail. Now you just know that. You didn't last but eight seconds. Never. Never ever. You try to save the day. You're like, I, I just felt like coming. I kept coming. Coming. At least that's what I was thinking. But all I could muster up was, Dear Lord, make me a bird so I can fly far, far, far away. All right, Pete. <laughs> I lost two friends this week out in Hollywood. I don't talk a lot about my time out there, but uh, Dr. Harwick, she was a beautiful, beautiful soul. She loved love. She understood the sexual perversions of the human psyche better than anyone I'd ever met. We lost Jason Davis as well, another friend. He, uh, he was a big, lovable, huggable teddy bear. I wish he 
only loved himself half as much as he loved other people. Addiction doesn't care if you're a billionaire or broke. I love you guys. Good night.